Hey guys, coming at you with another uh, collaborative NAM video. Please uh, stick around because there's a lot of really cool answers to these questions coming up. Hey guys, how the hell are you? Coming at you live from NAM 2020. Today's question for the YouTube community. What is the first thing that you look at in an instrument to tell if it is worth your money? Uh, the neck. So the first thing I do is pick it up and hold it. No matter how pretty I think a guitar is, uh, I have to hold it and feel the neck. If, I, if the neck's not right and I don't get that and it doesn't speak to me, it doesn't matter how pretty it is or how expensive it is or how, the, what, how big the name brand is, I won't buy it. Uh, I went to Pitbull Audio not long ago and I bought a new Minez, which I haven't even done a demo on because if somebody sends me a guitar, the demo comes out like that, right? If I buy one, I sit on it for a year. So um, I tried out. There was one I really, really, really wanted, and I and I had a, I guess how they say it in video editing and stuff. I had to kill that baby because it was I, I wanted it so bad, and I had this idea of it. it. Didn't speak to me. It didn't play right, and I tried eight more Mayanezes until I picked the one. And the one I picked was the, the most un Mayanez Mayanez ever, right? It's it's flat black. It's got swamp ash. There's no color. But it's, it's a special guitar. But though. as soon as I played it, and I felt the neck, and I and I felt it, it spoke to me, and I was like, I can't I can't leave this guitar behind. So, nice. um, yeah. If I feel it, if you feel it, it's just feeling. Take it in my hand, play, and it connects or not. Okay. I don't look particularly into something special. Like a, it ha don't, needs to have some. Don't some's. look at a particular like, uh, like a quality thing or a spec. It's just how does it feel in your hands? Yeah, and if it resonates, I like resonant guitars. Uh -huh. And I like if I feel the guitar on my body, and yeah, that's it. And okay. if there's a connection to the instrument or not. I have a guitar at home. Actually, when I play it, it hurts here because the screws from the from the uh, bridge yeah. are sticking out. It's uh -huh. all vintage something. But it sounds and feels incredible. But sometimes I have bloody hands after playing it. <laughs> because you said if I look for qualities. Right, it, put, it, put up it, with the torture so that you can get the feel. Yeah, exactly. I love it. <laughs> Well, usually, I mean, the, the first thing that always draws me in is how it looks. I'm a huge, like, aesthetic guy, I guess. So if I like how it looks, I already am interested. But when you pick it up, that's obviously when you decide if it's worth it or not. Um, I'm trying to think. I think really, like, I know it's kind of a, a, probably a pretty common answer, but really the fret ends in fret work, if the frets are sharp and stuff, it's, I, I don't know, I'm immediately not interested anymore because I also don't know anything about setting up guitars. So if a guitar isn't good to go when I buy it, I'm not about to go and do hours worth of work or pay someone else to do more work to it to get it where I want it to be. I just want it to work out of the box and not mess around. When shopping for a new instrument that you're actually going to purchase yourself, what is the very first thing that you look at to determine if it is worth your time, worth your money? Um, it used to be the look, now it's weight. Wait, how heavy it is on my shoulders because uh -huh. uh, I'm getting older and uh, elbows are hurting, wrists are hurting, shoulders are hurting, and oh, so shit. I know. So, oh. Yeah, so so like if I'm oh this looks really cool, ah it's too heavy. Uh, this one way too heavy. <laughs> like right, I'm right. not even gonna try them out, but I pick one up that's like I throw it up and it almost floats down. Like okay, what does this one sound like? Right, right. right. This is one thing I always got confused about is how people can go into a guitar shop and sit there for two hours and then give you the guitar back and go, nah, it's not for me. I can tell within the first couple of minutes if the guitar is for me or not. Number one, 100% is aesthetics for me. As a metal guy, I want it to look super metal. So when I walk into a shop and I see like a Jackson Kelly, I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to play that guitar. So that is probably the first thing that I see for a guitar that makes me want to play it. What is the first critical thing you look at on an instrument to determine if it is worth your time and money? How it feels, the net, 100%. I tell all my students that it doesn't matter the brand, it doesn't matter the make, it doesn't matter the model, it doesn't matter if it's new or used. If you pick it up, even if you can't describe it, if it doesn't feel good, don't buy it. Don't even take it if it's free, because you won't play it. You know, but if you find something that you just cannot put down, Buy it if you can afford it, regardless of what it is, because if you keep it in your hands, you will get better. Yep. How is the looking? You like the aesthetics? Yeah. The aesthetics, it's, it's everything for me for the first, first thing. Uh -huh. You know, 
the guitar should be catch my attention by by my eyes. Uh -huh. Otherwise, I'm never going to pay attention. Could be the better guitar in the world. If it's ugly, I don't care. <laughs> Mainly, I guess I would say pickups, fret, pickups, frets, and the bridge. Because you gotta look at the pickups, see if I want to take them out or not. Uh, I'm, I'm a big stickler for stainless steel frets. So if it doesn't have stainless steel frets, it kind of turns me off. And if if the bridge is something like a collar, for example, I'm like not gonna buy it. I'm gonna stay away from it. Okay. So good bridge, good pickups, good frets. When going to purchase an mm. instrument, what would you say is the first thing about an instrument mm. that you look for to determine if it's worth your money? Love at first sight. <laughs> it's it's uh, it, it really is right. I mean. To, the first thing I look for in an instrument is, you know, is there a wow factor, right? Is there something attractive about that instrument that makes you walk up to the instrument? Um, so for me, there's definitely have to be, it has to look really good. And of course, like in life, when you're dealing with people or, you know, like uh, from an, you know, like attraction perspective, right? When you're meeting your, you know, significant other for the first time, like looks matter because that's the attraction and then after you have the attraction then you want to get to know the instrument right. does it feel good does it play good is the fret work good does it sound good is it too heavy is it too light does it feel good um, all of that but it's got to look good first because if it was ugly it doesn't matter how how awesome, it is. how awesome it is if you're not attracted to it you know uh, you may you may struggle you may not want to play that instrument I get it. Yep. What is the first critical thing that you look for in an instrument to determine if it is worth your time and money? Deck shape. Deck if it's shape. the wrong shape, it, I, it's just it won't work. I prefer thin C's. Do you give me a rounded edge D or something like a super th too thin? Neck shape, starting point for me. Oh, that instrument. The neck, 100%. Like as soon as I can almost always tell if I like a guitar. The second my hand touches the neck, like if it's like a super small neck, I'm like, I can't play it, it hurts my hands. And uh, the other thing is like your hand placement, like on an SG, if I feel like my hand is placed forward and I can't do, I'm like, I can't play, I feel, I, I feel like I'm like sitting with the guitar in a weird way. So uh -huh. it, it's just like the neck and your right hand position for me. Thank you guys so much. More videos in this series to come.